The nurses pick it outside. Some of those patients are watching from inside their hospital rooms. And tonight we're hearing from one of them. He posted this sign right here behind us in his hospital room window. And it reads, UNAP is saving my life. But he tells us the hospital made him take it down. I would assume supporter Caroline Goggin went looking for answers tonight. She joins us now live in studio with more. Caroline. Well, Mike and Jen and I FaceTime with James Egan tonight. He's a cancer patient at Rhode Island Hospital. He said the temporary workers that have come in are doing a great job, but he tells us he formed a connection with the nurses he saw each and every day. He wants them to know he's got their backs. A sign of support. I just really wanted to show my appreciation. This is the man behind it, 48-year-old James Egan, a teacher at Mount Pleasant High School. He's spending his summer vacation here at Rhode Island Hospital as he undergoes treatment for acute myeloid leukemia. I was not planning on spending my summer here. It was a surprise diagnosis. Just days later, he began undergoing procedures and he started chemotherapy. You know, with everything that's going on with me, they made me really feel at home. They took care of me. So this weekend, as the strike was looming, his friend paid him a visit and brought some art supplies. Things that I use in my classroom that we cover bulletin boards with so that they're fire safe. And all day yesterday, with the help of his family, James decided to pen a letter to the nurses, a very public one. The message, simple. UNAP is saving my life. I just wanted to hang him up and show my appreciation to the the wonderful staff here that have been helping me. James says the nurses are thankful for the sign that's now hanging in his window, but the administration isn't pleased. First thing this morning, uh, a woman came in. She introduced herself as the chief of nurses, and she insisted that I take it down. Well, they first said it was a fire hazard, and then they said they were going to uh, clean the windows. The hospital confirms they asked James to take down that sign, but they wouldn't say why. He says he has no plans to remove it. It's right here. He's now calling on Lifespan to take care of the people who have taken care of him. They've done so much to help me. And James tells us his prognosis is pretty good and that he's received a ton of support since his diagnosis. Right now, he just hopes to get the nurses he's grown to know back in the hospital under the right terms. I'm Caroline Goggin, Eyewitness News.